Hello everybody, this is Demeter from the Redmine Up support team. In this video demonstration I'm going to show you the checklist items text formatting feature. So it is a great feature that allows you to format your checklist items into a great way to make them more recognizable and easy for understanding. And better for reading of course. So I'm going to show you step by step. Firstly, let's create a testing issue. Testing the checklist formatting. Okay. So firstly, it is items in bold. So this is pretty clear. This is going to make uh, the text to be bold. Yeah, here it is, the checklist item is bold. Okay, so the next one, it is in italic. So this is the text itself to be formatted. So it is in italic style. So yeah, here it is. This item is into italics. Okay, so the next one is using underline. So it will be a checklist item with style for underlining. Sorry for that. Adding underline item. Yeah, here it is. It is a checklist item that is underlined. Okay. The next one is bold, bold and italic. So it is combining two styles. Combining two styles of a checklist item text itself. Hmm, then why it is not added? Yeah, here it is. Or even bold and italic. Uh, yeah, so both are appearing. Okay, so the next one is add color to words. In our situation, it is going to be red. So let's add, for example, blue as well. And maybe yellow, sorry, yellow. Okay, let's add it. Okay, so we see add color to words. It is in red and blue and yellow. So we continue, background light green, add colorful background yellow backgrounds. Okay, let's see this. Okay, we could change it for example to blue by the way. So here it is, 
light green background color of the text and blue hmm, actually it is not very good for seeing however it could be changed anytime of course we could change it for example to be hmm, maybe purple or pink let's see pink how it is going to to appear yeah pink is better so backgrounds is now readable because pink is on the background color okay so this task is done let's continue further linking issues yeah so linking issues is done with the sharp sign this is the sharp sign so it is important okay so let's continue yeah linking issues so we see that now the issue is clickable it is bug fix swimlane group helper so when we click we open it yeah we just click and we open it So it is a great feature as well because it is just one click and you go to the task. And when you do the task, when it is solved, it is 0% solved. However, when you're the uh, man who is responsible for doing this job, uh, do it, then you just go back to the checklist and make it as a done job. So it is easy and convenient and very very um, good for using so let's continue further closed issues change style okay let's see this feature Yeah, closed issues change style so actually this issue is indeed closed so yeah it is closed so we could see it is closed because it is uh, gray and there is a line that is crossing it so it is showing that the task is solved and it is closed however this one is not closed yeah it should be solved so it is blue and it is not uh, it does not have a line here so it should be solved and this one is already solved so make it solved here yeah so let's continue further link contact with avatar all right So now we see link contact with avatar. This is Derek Pillington and we see him into the avatar. So we click on his contact and see his details like email, phone number, address, etc. So it is a hyperlink as well like the issues. Just click and you will go into the contact. So let's continue further or plain link to a contact okay so this is a bit different this is contact here this is contact slash plain so this is not going to have a avatar let's see how it works Okay, so this is a plain link to a contact. So this is Sunflower LTD. So it is again clickable. You could click and go to the Sunflower contact information. However, the avatar itself is not appearing because this is the idea of this concrete um, macro. 
and formatting. So this is just a text that is clickable and you could go to a contact. There is no avatar here. And let's continue further. The last formatting that I'm going to show you is link to deals. So as we all know, deals is part of the functionality of the CRM plugin. So it is a great feature as well as it is linking deals. So let's see how it works. So here is our deal. It is connected to Derek Billington and it is with name Furniture Design and has 5,000 pounds cost. So it is pending as well. When we click over it, we could see the details of this deal. This is the first deal of Derek Billington. So there are more information here like date and other contacts, responsible person, etc. So the important thing here is that it is clickable on the checklist and it has some additional information like price and uh, status and the avatar of the contact that is linked to it. So when this uh, deal is finished then the checklist could be um, done in this way. Okay, so this was the um, checklist formatting feature so it is helping for you to make the checklist more uh, complex uh, more with more features it links issues deals contacts and it is more recognizable in some ways for example adding colors and making some styles of the text itself so uh, yeah it could be more uh, more helpful for you and your tasks so, I hope this video was good for you, and I hope uh, you understand this feature now well. If you like it, uh, you could check other articles and videos into our documentation of checklists. Or, if you have some difficulties, you could contact us anytime at email support at uh, redmineapp.com. So, please uh, leave a message to tell us, is this feature good for you? Thank you very much for watching this and bye bye for now.